I'm Simon and I'm here at Airbeam TV to get you started mirroring your iPhone to your Sony Smart TV. So let's get into it. First things first, we need to install the Airbeam Mirror for Sony TV app. So let's head to the App Store on our iPhone, but not before we greet the most cutting edge piece of technology in this room, it's phone cam. Let's head to the App Store. So once you're in the App Store, you can search for Airbeam TV. And in there, we will find Mirror for Sony Smart TV. It's the purple one. So we've got the app from the App Store and all we need to do now is make sure that our phone and our Smart TV are connected to the same network for the television, ideally via a wired connection. So let me... Yep, they're both connected to the same network. So let's open the app for the first time. Now, our Sony TV is running the Android TV operating system. So the app will notice this and tell us for the best experience, install the Airbeam TV app on your TV. If you tap through the app, it will guide you through the process of installing the receiver app onto the TV itself. So we click install now, it'll take us to the Google Play Store. And if we click install there via internet wizardry, it will install the app onto our TV. If you're running a regular Sony Smart TV, you can ignore these steps and simply tap your TV and start mirroring from this screen. So once we've given the TV and the internet wizards a second to install that app in the background, we can head back to our home screen on the TV and then scroll down to our apps where we should find the Airbeam TV app. So let's open that now. So now we are back to the phone where we will see the icon next to our TV has turned into a little Android, meaning we are connected via the app, the best performance way of connecting. So I'll tap the name of the TV, and then all we need to do is press select mirror Sony TV, and then start broadcast. It will give you a little countdown, and then after that, a notification will appear, and your screen will be magically mirrored over to your Sony TV. Thanks for your service, phone cam. You can take the rest of the day off. Phone cam! So now my iPhone screen is mirrored onto the Sony TV. It's worth noting there is a small delay between things happening on the phone and them appearing on the TV. That's what we call latency. It should only be one to three seconds, which means it's fine for looking at photos, presentations, videos, but what it does mean is that you won't be able to do high intensity gaming on your phone and mirror that to the TV. So what might you want to use this mirroring app for? Well, maybe you've got photos stored on your phone and you want to display them on a big screen to your family and friends. Simply pull them up in the Photos app, rotate your phone onto its side, and then the same thing will happen on the TV. You can check out your photos in all their glory. Maybe you do a lot of big business and you've got a presentation that you desperately need to show to some people, but you don't want them all crowding around your screen. Perfect. Display the presentation from your phone onto the big screen. So all you need to do is open it up, turn it on its side, and voila, everyone can see the mind map, whatever that is. And finally, maybe you wanna show videos on the big screen that you have on your phone. If they're in your camera roll, you can go straight ahead and do it the same way as we did with the photos. But what if they're on the internet? Well, in that case, we recommend that you install Puffin Browser. It's an internet browser, much the same as Safari or Google Chrome, but what it will allow is the sound to travel from the browser to the TV. We can go ahead and open up a video in it here, push play on the video, whack it into full screen, turn it on its side so that it does the same there. Now for the sound to travel across, we wanna make sure that the sound is turned all the way down on our phone and then we can turn it up on the TV itself. Ah, one important thing to note is to make sure you disable the mute switch on your iPhone so that the sound can travel from here 
two over there. And that's how easy it is. If you do have any questions, queries or thoughts, feel free to get in touch with us via Facebook Messenger or the good old fashioned email. In the meantime, I sit onto the top of a cake. Happy mirroring.